please welcome our competitors. Algae, McGill University. The way we are eating has become unhealthy and unsustainable. If we're to feed the growing global population, we need an environmentally responsible and nutritious solution. We are that solution. Algae is the first company in Canada to create delicious, purpose-driven food products centered around algae. Algae is the food of the future. It's an efficient, sustainable, and nutritious powerhouse that's got untapped global potential. Our introductory product is the Impact Bar, an unprocessed plant-based energy bar made with six to seven clean and simple ingredients you actually know and understand. And it's got long-lasting energy to sustain you through whatever adventure awaits. The Impact Bar was launched online and in-stores in September and retails for $3.99 a bar. Now, we know a bar won't do much, but the Impact Bar is an introductory product to pave the way for an algae-based food product line that will make eating delicious, sustainable, and nutritious food easy. Help us to build a green future by choosing food with an impact. Beta Trace, Johns Hopkins University. Every year, the United States sees 60,000 people diagnosed with pancreatic cancer, and only 5% of those people will survive past five years. Surgical resection remains the only curative option, but there is still an 80% chance that the cancer will return, which severely diminishes a patient's chance of surviving another year. That is where Beta Trace can help. Our mission is to provide innovative radiation therapies for pancreatic cancer patients to decrease the chance of recurrence after tumor removal. Beta Trace is a patient-specific intraoperative radiation therapy applicator that fits seamlessly into the treatment workflow and facilitates the delivery of ablative radiation to resection margins while protecting sensitive regions. Intraoperative radiation therapy with the Beta Trace platform has the potential to add one and a half years of life per patient. With such a low survival rate today, we aim to bring hope back to our patients' reality. Thank you. Cardiova Health, Georgia Institute of Technology. Hi, I'm Ron from Cardiova Health, and I'm excited to tell you about our first product, the Band. The Band is built for patients who suffer from chronic cardiac issues and require frequent checkups with their physicians. Unfortunately, 50 million of these patients live in healthcare deserts and cannot afford quality medical care. Telemedicine tries to bridge these gaps, but physicians still cannot collect diagnostic data or even listen to the heart. This is where the Band comes in. The Band is the first combined digital stethoscope and ECG designed to detect novel indicators of cardiac conditions. It produces eight times louder and 50% clearer audio than our leading competitors. Users get the Band from their hospital, which buys the device from medical distributors. Every time the patient uses the Band, the hospital bills their insurance. There are over 50 million patients who face significant barriers to healthcare today. We believe that the Band bridges these gaps and also equalizes the quality between telehealth and in-person checkups like never before. Change Finder, University of Oregon. If you live in a poor neighborhood like I do, you're more likely to die from COVID. I'm a board member of the Whitaker Community Council, one of over 170 nonprofits currently funded by the Oregon Health Authority to fight the spread of COVID in the most vulnerable communities around the state. Right now, for nonprofits, days of work can mean the difference between life and death. And when lives are on the line, we don't have an hour to waste. Unfortunately, that's exactly what we do every time when we apply for grant funding. All funders ask different questions and require pages of documentation in various formats. This takes nonprofits days to do, if we choose to do it at all, stealing valuable time away from our missions. But the problem isn't a lack of funding. It's that there isn't a universal platform connecting foundations, nonprofits, and individual donors. That's why we've created ChangeFinder, which improves grant application success rates for nonprofits and the foundations that fund them by empowering funders and donors to work on the world's most pressing challenges together. Cypher X Biotechnologies, University of Arkansas. Three hundred thousand people are diagnosed with a brain tumor in the United States every single year. 
It takes up to six weeks to begin treatment after receiving a biopsy, which is due in large part to the World Health Organization guidelines that request genetic testing to inform diagnosis. This testing is performed by external companies, which takes precious time and results in an agonizing wait for patients and their families. I'm Landon Bertram, CTO of CypherX, a startup company focused on accelerating brain cancer diagnosis. We provide a patent pending sample preparation kit that enables same day genetic sequencing within the hospital. The technique was invented by one of our key advisors, a neurosurgical oncologist who faces firsthand the limitations of current diagnostic workflows. We are addressing a $1.2 billion brain cancer market and are seeking $500,000 for 20% equity in the company, which will advance clinical validation efforts. So join us in revolutionizing the future of cancer diagnostics. Thank you. DCAP, University of British Columbia. My name is Jamie McGrill. I'm a McGill MD PhD student and the CEO of DCAP. And today, I'm going to talk to you about something you've never even thought about before, needle stick injuries. Two million healthcare workers get needle stick injuries every year, with 60 million people at risk for exposure to toxins and infectious diseases, and this costs more than 600 million in healthcare and work loss costs per year. There are no on-market alternatives to needle stick injuries, so we invented DCAP, which enables you to uncap, recap, and dispose of needles safely with one hand and without ever touching the pointy bit, so you'll never poke yourself again. We see three main markets. Healthcare, veterinary, and research. For North American total of $600 million per year and $1.3 billion per year worldwide, based on a $2 billion current market for safety needles and sharps containers. We have $12,000 in pre-orders. We've secured our Health Canada Class 1 MDEL and provisional patent, and we've raised $150,000 in non-dilutative MITAX and accelerator funding. Our team draws extensively from clinical, research, and engineering spaces, and we have a diverse advisory team from accelerators, universities, and companies around the world. EV123. University of Waterloo. I was really excited to buy my first electric vehicle until I learned how complex it was to get a charger installed in my home. Between searching for the charger and the extensive electrical upgrades required at home, I barely knew where to start and I'm not alone. My name is Alex Dalton and I'm the founder of EV123, the one-stop shop for customers to get an EV charger installed in their home. Unlike our competition who have complex quoting systems and high upfront costs, we reduce complexity for our customers by simplifying every aspect of the installation process. With over 30 years of combined experience in the automotive technology sector, my team and I will make this happen. Our company has already won a business competition here in Canada, signaling our strength. We're testing the business model right now and believe we could hit $1 million in revenue with only 180 customers. To expand, we plan to franchise the model to capitalize on the market here in Canada. Our target is to raise 50 k in funding in 2022 to expand as we move to reach our goal of becoming Canada's number one EV charger installer. Horizon Health Solutions, University of Arkansas. Hi, I'm Amy Hopper, and I'm the CEO of Horizon Health Solutions. Between 2003 and 2018, 16% of our rural pharmacies here in the U.S. closed their doors for good. If this trend continues, 65 million Americans run the risk of losing convenient access to their life-saving medication. Our solution to this problem is PriceView. It's a software as a service and it's been implemented already at the University of Arkansas for Medical Sciences within their retail pharmacy. Last year alone, we increased their top line revenue by over $800,000. Join us as we take PriceView to other community pharmacies around the country and help them stay in business. Thanks. Ikigai, Western University. Did you know that 75% of high school students in North America are stressed about their career and what they want to do after high school? That's 13.5 million students. I'm Avi, and I'm the co-founder of Ikigai, and we intend to redefine the career counseling space for high school students through a one-stop platform that is holistic and experiential. Through Ikigai, we offer a holistic career assessment, a personalized coach, courses, internships, and guidance counseling to ensure that every student is pursuing a career based on their interests, strengths, and personality. 
Over the next five years through Ikigai, we intend to capture the North American market worth $8.7 billion through an estimated revenue of 50 million. And we would love for you to be a part of this incredible journey. My student well-being, University of Manitoba. A survey indicated that over half of post-secondary students before the pandemic at some point have felt so depressed it's difficult to function and felt overwhelming anxiety. I'm Tyler. With a Bachelor of Social Work and working on my MBA, I founded My Student Wellbeing to fill the gap of providing the 2.1 million post-secondary students in Canada with access to affordable, convenient, and professional online mental health counseling. Free services can have wait times of weeks or they don't let you pick the person you disclose your most personal details to. Our clinician directory will allow students to pick a therapist they wanna work with who accepts student insurance. Are you a student and don't even know you have insurance? Jump on our website and we'll help educate you. We've identified 285,000 students with combined coverage of $270 million a year who have insurance that covers counseling at 100%. We intend to be live in Manitoba this month and live across Canada by the fall. Fee Med Industries, University of Iowa. Hello, my name is Suzanne Heron. I'm the founder of Fee Med Industries, as well as the designer of the world's first home delivered and self administered cervical cancer screening pap smear. We have to revolutionize the world for women, just like what the home pregnancy test did uh, for women in the 70s. In addition, with the push for telemedicine now providing care more outside of the clinic and inside the home uh, from the recent pandemic, uh, we hope to capitalize on this opportunity and bring freedom to women everywhere. In particular, we have a special focus on survivors of sexual assault, rape, or abuse. Um, they tend to forego care in trying to prevent PTSD episodes. So I hope that you would be interested in helping our startup business to be able to go to the next level. Thank you very much. Rogue Processing, University of Manitoba. Forty-eight percent of Canadian cannabis cultivators lack the processing license to pack product for consumer markets and have two choices. Navigate the complicated and costly process of licensing a second facility or partner with a co-packer. Without a dedicated co-packer in Manitoba, cultivators are inefficiently shipping product back and forth out of province. I'm Graham Taylor and I was drawn to the explosive growth of this $135 million Manitoba industry and have partnered with a cultivator, joining a team of an award-winning salesperson, a farmer with experience running an eight-figure business, a legendary OG grower, and even PhD food scientists. Rogue Processing has invested in a top shelf automatic canning system that uses nitrogen to lock in product quality and extend shelf life with a $9 million annual revenue capacity. I want your investment in this first of the market venture that was conceived by demand. Thank you. Seal Corps, Johns Hopkins University. Did you know that only about 25% or less of clinically indicated kidney biopsy procedures are performed annually in the United States? This leaves millions of patients without a definitive diagnosis of their kidney disease. So why are these other 75% of patients not receiving these crucial biopsies? Procedure risk. About 75% of biopsies result in some type of bleeding and between five to 10% of the time, patients experience major hemorrhage events, which causes increased pain, hospital stays, additional surgical intervention, and sometimes even death. In comes SealCore, a needle-based biopsy device that provides patients at risk with a safe method of diagnosis. Unlike other alternatives, we offer a device that not only extracts kidney tissue, but seals the gap left behind. Our team is a cross-functional group of engineers, clinical industry experts, and clinicians with the ultimate goal to bring this device to hospitals across the United States. Our vision is for nephrologists to perform kidney biopsies on all patients for which it is needed. We are SteelCore, making biopsies safer for all patients.
Sprayer Mods, University of Iowa. Currently, farmers are spraying their entire field with herbicide, but only a small portion of it actually needs to be sprayed, namely the section with weeds in it. This is where Sprayer Mods comes in. We're developing a kit that allows farmers to upgrade their existing sprayer, and this is done by, by attaching cameras to the front of the sprayer, which then sends frames through our proprietary algorithm, which then tells nozzles to turn on in the presence of a weed. A typical wheat farmer can expect to save $45,000 per year if they're farming on 5,000 acres. We currently have a provisional patent, a functional prototype, and five beta testers who are willing to purchase our product. We're seeking an additional $188,000 in funding so we can hire more engineers, developers, and marketers. Sprayer Mods is going to help farmers reduce their herbicide costs by allowing them to spray only weeds. Thank you. Visalent, Johns Hopkins University. There are 700 million patients worldwide who live with severe vision loss from disorders that are 100% preventable if they had access to the proper treatment. Why don't they have access to eye care? Well, a single hospital in India services patients in up to a 200 kilometer range, and there's only one ophthalmologist for every 91,000 patients in an area. With such a high volume of patients, it can be nearly impossible for hospitals to provide efficient, high quality care. That's where Visalent comes in. Our telemedicine platform enables people with minimal training to screen and diagnose patients for eye disorders using only their smartphone. With this system, hospitals can reach more patients closer to their homes while reducing the burden on already overworked ophthalmologists and staff. We are piloting this system at Arvin Eye Hospital and two of the other largest eye hospitals in the world, who collectively see 6 million patients annually. So far, we've screened 1,700 patients. Together with Visalent, we can enable access to eye care for millions in order to eliminate avoidable blindness. Workster, Appalachian State University. Hey everyone, we are Workster, the adaptive solution to contract labor management. Businesses are increasingly having to rely on contract labor. After running a contracting business for the last three years and conducting a lot of customer discovery, we know that it can be hard to manage this labor effectively. To address this problem, we built a platform that integrates all necessary work management functions into one easy to use interface that addresses the needs of a company utilizing contract labor. We streamlined job management and communications, then we automated invoice collection and contractor pay. This allows for companies to scale faster with contract labor, keeping their contractors happy and serving their customers better. In order to put all of this together, 77% of Fortune 500 CEOs interviewed by Mercer predict that contract labor will exceed the number of employees in their companies. Workster is here to build the infrastructure for this future of work. Thank you for your time. And now it's time for a quick break. Stretch your legs, walk around, get a cup of coffee, and join us back here soon.